Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top rated comments for the next episode. Today's top comment comes from Jonas Passfall, who says the Sergeant Henry Blackburn Loadout from Battlefield 3 Campaign. Battlefield 4 gameplay though. Primary is the M416, optic is the ACOG 4x optic, no accessory, barrel will be the heavy barrel, under barrel is the underslung rail, paint is default, secondary weapon is the M9 naked. Paint default again will be using the M320 high explosive grenade launcher. Gadget 2 is no requirement so I just went with the med bag, grenade is the M67 frag, knife bayonet. Now the field upgrade will be the Grenadier in Battlefield 3. You got three grenades in the campaign. Grenadier will allow us to carry two grenades and some extra grenades for a grenade launcher if we can actually upgrade the field upgrade. Playstyle. Play on Conquest, Rush, Obliteration, or other large-scale oriented game modes. Just please do not play TDM or Domination as this does not suit the loadout or the playstyle as much. Take distance and use the ACOG and grenade launcher to their full potential. With all this in mind you will be able to get a feeling of the loadout much better and find its strengths aside from from its weaknesses as this may be the first you will find. You are Blackbird and you must try to stay alive at all costs. The loadout may not be the loadout of choice but it offers the user a new and a different experience in addition it looks damn sexy. Have fun. All right now I have a confession to make. I never actually beat the Battlefield 3 campaign. I kept dying of boredom while playing the stupid thing so I stopped playing it and just focused on multiplayer which is what most people do when they play Battlefield. Who knows maybe the next big Battlefield game will change what we think about a Battlefield single player experience but that has yet to be seen. In the meantime though we have the loadout from Battlefield 3 single player campaign. The guns are always cool. They're always set up in a somewhat realistic fashion. I assume this is something you would probably see in the Marines now or maybe Special Forces. I don't actually know which army division gets the M416 it is one of the higher up weapons. I definitely know special forces get access to it, but I'm not sure about the standard military. And of course, the actual name for this weapon is the HK416. And did you know HK makes a ton of the guns in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3? They have the G36C, the MG4, both UMP45 and UMP9, then the MP7, and even the XM25 and the M320 grenade launcher. And of course, they designed the MP5 and just a whole bunch of other weapons that you'll see in tons of video games. It's kind of crazy to think about what their weapon legacy is. Now, as far as this loadout goes, it's not the greatest. I mean, ACOG is fun to run with on these weapons, but as I've mentioned in many videos before, having a magnified optic on a standard assault rifle like this might make a lot of sense in real life where you can drop people in one or two shots at extreme distances, but in Battlefield 4, you can pelt away at them four, five, six, even seven shots at further ranges, and it's not gonna kill them. So when you have an optic with this high magnification and you're shooting in full auto, which is what you need to do in Battlefield 4, uh, you're just going to get a ton of screen shake and it's going to be hard to track your targets. Now when it comes to the heavy barrel, I can't necessarily recommend it too much for this loadout. It's not bad. Overall what the heavy barrel does is it decreases your overall spread of the weapon. So as you continue to shoot it in full automatic fire mode, the spread of your bullets is going to increase at a slower rate. It's also going to start off at a smaller rate too. So basically you'll get more accurate fire for a longer period of time, but it's going to increase your vertical recoil significantly. So you're going to need a little bit more recoil control. Now in a way this is really realistic and unrealistic for what the actual heavy barrel would do in real life. Now, a heavy barrel is exactly what it sounds like. It's a thicker, heavier barrel uh, made for firearms, often found in machine guns and stuff like that. And what it does is it heats up slower than a standard barrel does. And when a barrel gets to a certain temperature, it's going to produce less accurate fire, less accurate results. So if you're trying to be a marksman, shoot accurately, you're going to need a heavier barrel so it heats up slower. Then again, a lightweight barrel cools off faster, so you have pros and cons. But ultimately, the way this barrel is represented in Battlefield does make a lot of sense, except for the vertical recoil increase. Now, if you're adding that much more weight to the front of your gun, and it can be like a pound or even more, so it's actually a significant amount of weight to the weight of the overall assault rifle, it's actually gonna decrease your vertical recoil. So that representation in Battlefield 4 is not accurate. 
Personally, if I were balancing the heavy barrel in Battlefield 4, I would take away the vertical recoil and probably add in something like an aiming down sight delay. So whatever the normal aiming down sight time is, I would just increase it by like maybe 10% or something like that. So if you think about it, like there's a lot more weight to the gun, it's gonna be heavier to pick up, heavier to maneuver, so it's gonna delay your ability to like raise the weapon ever so slightly. So I would just increase that a little bit and that would be, I think a good trade-off. You know, if, you, if you're trying to ADS as fast as possible, it's gonna take a little bit longer with the heavy barrel, but you'll get more accurate fire. Anyway, what happens when you put a heavy barrel and an ACOG together in Battlefield 4? Well, you get exaggerated recoil, both from the four times multiplier and the fact that you're actually getting more vertical recoil overall. So it's pretty much the worst combination you can think of. Is it usable? Yeah. Is it annoying? Is it not enjoyable? Yep, it's pretty hard to use. You can tap fire and drop people at further ranges. And it's not to say that it's not an effective longer range weapon, but I just wouldn't put the heavy barrel on it for this because you're going to need to do very small tap firing with this weapon to actually hit people at further ranges. And the heavy barrel doesn't help for that at all. In fact, angled foregrip would be much more appropriate. Now, as for running with extra grenades, I actually do like that a lot. It's really good to have grenades, especially when playing the rush game mode. And sometimes there's like an entire squadron of enemies running at you. Chucking grenades in the middle of them is a good way to get a bunch of kills. And I was having no trouble landing grenade kills and grenade launcher kills especially again when there's a lot of players like around a corner and you don't have time to sit there and sort of put five rounds into somebody you just peek real quick shoot a grenade and then run back behind there you can often get some pretty easy and quick kills this way funny enough i actually found this weapon much more usable at medium range than i did longer range even though i think it was intended to be used more at longer range Rush is definitely a good game mode to use this on. You are going to get a mixture of long, medium, and close range combat. This weapon can be used at those ranges. Close range is probably the weakest point because I almost felt more comfortable hip firing than trying to ADS with a four times optic. It's just not the most enjoyable experience ADSing with an ACOG from like 10 feet away. Of course, the grenade launcher can be used for a one shot kill if you hit them directly, but that's kind of a big risk in CQB. Plus, if there's multiple people there, you're going to need something else to follow up in. And weapon switch times in Battlefield 4, although fast, usually aren't fast enough to deal with a massive quantity of targets. Overall, I like the grenadier aspect to this loadout. It's super useful for game modes like Rush, where you just need a lot of explosive power. Potentially in small corridor areas, it can be extremely useful. The weapon setup itself, though, is tricky to use. And if you want something that's more of a long range rifle, I would say just get used to aiming long range with your standard red dot optic that way you can transition to close quarter combat without having the issues or get a two times flip up sight and definitely don't use a heavy barrel but maybe something more like an angled foregrip or nothing at all anyway that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of loda i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to leave your comments down below for next week's episode and i'll see you next time this is level cap signing off